learning from Ybyte ever since the launch a few years ago. And this Python course has been the best one yet. Let's take a look at it. Here's, a, here's some information about the course. The objective of the course is to learn and grow with Python and get used to text-based coding. The method was fun-filled projects brimming with opportunity. And the results were that we can all now use Python in countless ways. My favorites. Today, I'll be showing you my favorite project that, that both taught me crafty concepts like lists, indexing, and rare operations like modulo and floor division, but was also breathtakingly realistic. Presenting to you the shop till you drop store chain. Here are some snippets of my code and how it runs. Insights in my project. Firstly, it was awesome. Secondly, it showed me that even huge stores like Amazon and Big Basket can be as simple as my little program with graphics. Thirdly, let's go look at my program. Welcome to the shop till you drop store chain. Here's how it works. First, an employee of the store welcomes you and allows you to choose a currency. Let's go for Indian rupees. After which you can choose a department and start shopping. Let's go for the home department. From here, we can start buying items. First, let's get a few shelves, some decor, and three beds. Let's go to checkout. Here, the shopping cart is displayed along with the currency and the total is displayed as well. After this, we are allowed to remove items. Maybe we don't need three beds. Let's go for one. We have to select item three and remove two. Let's proceed to checkout. <clears throat> At checkout, you have an option to avail a varying discount that provides a sufficient profit, uh, profit to the store. Let's opt for the discount. After opting for the discount, we get options to avail it. Let's try adding seven tables. After adding this new item, our shopping cart is displayed yet again, showing us what we've added and the bill, along with discounts and taxes displayed clearly. Our final bill is displayed as well. The first thing I printed on Python was the classic Hello World line. And now I'm at a place where I can do anything that comes to my mind with all of my mind. Thank you for all of all that you've taught me, sir, and all of my classmates. Uh, hello, everybody. My name is Hari Gohan and I'm studying in Freedom International School and I'm in seventh grade. I study here in Bangalore and I didn't know there was a thing called coding until I started beginner's batch from I think last yeah last year I started it so this is my project that it's called secret messages part two I named it secret messages encoding and code cracking the project runs like this the enemy is sending me code so it slows down a bit so you can read it but as I got hold of it using modern tech passing it through the screen just processing secret code secret uh, secret code so I have built it up in built up an intense you know moment because of the you know time and I have at the end I have added to you know prove it I have not used some you know uh, I have not used whatever I have done and I have actually used a code I proved it using you know the preamble for the encoding is the world because and the all the preambles have actually mixed here it's a list uh, there are four preambles hello world python and amazing and i have added this code to you know break it down choose one preamble and add it to the code and then what and then uh, the secret code is this many i have learned many functions like import i have learned def i have learned for loop and i have i have learned string slicing mainly i have actually learned lists too because i have learned lists too and i have learned this new thing this powerful thing just a uh, percentage sign but is really powerful in coding uh, and i've learned concatenation of strings and then processing after the processing i reach the part where the computer itself proves to you that it is not some 
fraud that this code is not a fraud it has actually done some work to get it and yeah this is the whole project so thank you and i'm really excited to join the level 2 and level 3 of my talk very nice hari govind thank you so much i mean it's been a pleasure having you all along I study at the school of TCIS the Cambridge International School. I live in Bangalore and speak Telugu at home. I love coding and I love scratch and now python. My hobbies are to draw, read books and play badminton. Now I'm going to talk about uh, my favorite python project. My favorite project is a midterm project and as I use a lot of uh, features that were uh, learned in the class. So now I'm going to give you guys a summary of what I did in my midterm project. In my midterm project it basically first asks your gender and age and after that it um, prints your welcome message based on your inputs and then tries to draw you using whirly art. So now I'm going to run uh, each example and show it to you. Okay. So I entered female nine and it uh, printed girl and it uh, drawed a girl with uh, two piggy tails and now let's enter uh, female let's say twenty five it prints lady and uh, it uh, draws a lady with uh, hair as a bun so that just blue. now I'll enter uh, male nine it prints boy and it draws a boy. Now I will just give you a brief explanation of what I did. So for the letter art, I created lists for uh, each and every letter and uh, used a for loop to print uh, the letter art. Now let's go to the how I did uh, the whirly art. So I used a lot of turtle functions and uh, direction functions and things because I had to find where I have to start from, where to draw the rubber band and Thing. So it was a little complicated but overall I had a lot of fun now doing my whole project. Uh, thank you. That's it. Thanks Harini for that nice explanation and uh, the beautiful project. Clearly uh, this is a great project I would say because you have combined ideas from two projects that we have done in the class, the letter art yes. and the turtle uh, drawing, right? The paint fit turtle mm-hmm. and you have created mm-hmm. something quite amazing using interesting uh, code flow very interesting data structures and, and so on uh, really good okay and in general as i was just mentioning earlier too you have done really well i mean you have uh, for a you are amongst the youngest in the course in fact but you have done you know way beyond your age i would say uh, the way you have gone about every project and i think people have seen your projects because uh, I, I think in every project you are marked heaven D, if I remember correctly, right? So, so keep it up. I mean, you really have a knack for programming, uh, and I'm saying this having seen you in your Scratch course, uh, in the way you went about doing your Scratch, scratch projects, and now I've seen the same energy, same passion, same commitment, and same drive from you doing Python programs. So keep it up, Harini. I'm really proud of the way you have, uh, you know, gone about this course.